Hey guys, guess what time it is? It's Saturday morning premiere time. Chugga chugga choo choo. Pulling in the station and shaking my caboose. Shaking my caboose. Do, 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 do. All right, guys. Today I am going to show you what I have stacked for the month. And no, it's not this. <laughs> This is this is just my cool uh my bar my I got this bar storage thing so that's stuff from over time like over the past few years because I collect vintage bars and regular bars and yada 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 but here's um some things that I have picked up this week got the Golden State Mint home of the free because of the brave i don't know if i have one of these i'm i'm not 100 percent sure so i'm just gonna add another one another one to the stack so i'm gonna put it in here in my handy dandy storage container and then here's another one that i have picked up it's some kind of like prospector uh breakaway type bar I'm not really impressed with the way it looks. It kind of looks flat. It's like flat. It needs to be more like silvery or proofy or something. But it's something different. Because I like a ton of variety. So you could like break it off into uh, quarter ounces if you wanted to. But it's not that easy because like look. It's not like it's cut into the uh, reeded area. So you'd have to really take some effort to cut this and i am not even going to attempt to so that goes in there i guess that's all that goes in there and just for organizational purposes i'm just gonna like end up writing how many ounces in my little containers because like this isn't gonna go in there so i'm gonna try to keep better track of the stack this year but i like this one this one's pretty cool it's got this cool lion on it roar and it's a it's a 10 ounce and it's kind of hard to tell it says 10 troy ounces so this is a 10 ounce bar it's a cool little lion then i picked up a new 2023 two ounce libertata and it's pretty sad that it's the new one. It's the new one of the year. Like, they were, like, really, really slacking. And I had to, like, cut the foam just to keep it protected. I didn't have the proper size for it. So I just kind of, like, made my own holder. And I didn't do that great of a job. But, hey, look. It's in place. It's not shaking around. So I got this cool two ounce. Yeah, they were really, really slacking on getting their 2023s out. Like, some of them came out this year. And then I got this cool swan bar. The Perth Mint Australia Swan Bar. It's funny, it's a swan bar, but it's got kangaroos on the back. From the Perth Mint. And that's going to go in my, my bar stack over here. But I already added that in. So, the grand total will be over there. And then I got this Together We Fight, No One Fights Alone. It's a breast cancer round. Where people make the difference. So I got this cool breast cancer round that's going in there. So when I added up everything, you know, that's 10, 12, 13, and then whatever's in here. So as of January 25th, I should probably write 2024, I have collected... 32 ounces for my stack and I don't plan on getting any more Because it's so close to the end of the month. I mean I might only if something really cool comes into the shop here so it's like If we didn't have a shop, I wouldn't probably have as many ounces as I do But because we do I have the opportunity to you know put more stuff in my stack and then I got this really I, I'm not going to show you the, the letter, but I got this really nice letter from my friend out there. It's all typed up. 
I mean, I'll show it to you real quick, but I'm not going to read it. But I got this really nice letter from Veteran Metals. And I, I just love getting letters in the mail like that. And he sent me a sticker. Metals or die. It doesn't... Oh, so it has like the VM. But it doesn't really say like it's from Veteran Metals. But this is a really cool... I, I'm really digging this sticker. It's got the little cherubs and stuff. Pretty nice sticker. But yeah, he sent me a, a quick note saying... He loves my enthusiasm and appreciates what I do, so that's why I keep on doing it. You know, if just a couple people out there appreciate it, then why not keep doing it? So thank you, Veteran Metals. I appreciate you too. But what am I going to do now? I don't know. I'm kind of getting like overwhelmed on stacking silver. Like this shiny silver has just totally squirreled me since I've been here on YouTube. Probably because uh, all the stacking videos. So, like, the, the every time I see something new and shiny, I'm like, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. But I think this year I want to concentrate more on trying to get more numismatic stuff in my stack. So, I'll be back in just a second. I got some choices to make, and maybe you guys can help me choose. But I need more numismatic in my stack. Like, numismatic is where I started, and I think I want to get back to the roots there and try to slow down a little bit on the stacking, because I'm stack electing. I'm not a, I'm not a, a, what you would call a conscious stacker. Like, I'm a very out there, irresponsible stacker, so my cost averaging is probably not really good. But I have a few coins that I'm considering putting in my stack. I feel like I, I feel like I should get this coin for my stack because you don't see a lot of coins from the 1700s. So 1798. I think it's like a flowing hair scent or something like that. One over 100. So it's a scent. I mean, it's not in the greatest condition, but I don't have one. So I think I'm good. With putting this one in my stack, even though like I'm a I'm a um I'm a collection snob. I usually only put like coins that look mint state. I mean they might they might be like AU or XF, but as long as they look pretty minty in their state, I will put them in my stack. But I don't think I can afford I don't think I can afford a a, a mint state one of these. So I think I'm just gonna go with this one. So something for the stack. And now I have a choice. I have a choice. I have three different three different Mercury dimes. So maybe you guys could help me choose which one I can put in my picky my picky stack. Cause I'm I'm really picky. I mean if you if you look at all of them, like it's kind of up in the air for me. Cause like Luster wise, luster wise, I'm kind of leaning towards this one. This one has like the best luster in my opinion. And it's 1939. But then when I go to like my eye appeal, this one has like a slight hint, a slight golden hint. So this one, this one kind of like. This one kind of catches my eye just because of the eye appealing and coloredness. And then between these two, so I might I might keep two of these. There's a 41, a 41 and a 39. So like out of the 41 and 39, which one catches your eye better? This is the 39 over here with the penguin. And then this is the 41. So which one would you pick? If you could only pick one of these for your stack, which one would you pick? Would you pick the 39, which is right here? And it's got a little bit of toning right there, so that's kind of cool. Or would you pick the 41? Let me know, let me know in the comments below. But I think I'm definitely going to keep this one. 
So it's going to be this one because of the pleasant coloring and then one of these two. One of these two. And that brings me to this Benji. I just like the Benji because it almost looks like he has like um, blonde hair going on up there. Like on his bald spot. His bald spot is got kind of a little blonde color to it. And here's something that I want to put in my collection. Yeah, it's not a stack. This is this is like a collection. Because a stack is just like silver and gold. So I, I think I need to expand on my collection. Because like I'm running out of room for the... For the stacking aspect but one reason i like the indian head scents is because there's so many different colors there's so many different color schemes like this one's like a chocolate it's this one's like chocolatey you can read the full liberty across the headband there liberty and you can see the pearl necklace and you can see the stars and when you tilt it a little bit you can almost see a hint of of the copperness which they would call red red copper it's like brown red brown i mean this one is definitely brown but i mean there's so many different colors and and when you get like toned ones of these they are just beautiful but I like to have all mint state. So you can like see all the feathers. Like as I tilt it, you can see like all the details. So I don't know what the grade on this one would be. Maybe like XFAU. I don't know. But the details are nice. So I don't really care what the grade is. Because I'm more like on the details. And I don't think this is like a full head. But I mean you can see part of her face. This is a really nice 1917 standing quarter. And these ones get wore out so easily. This one's probably like XF. But yeah, these one these ones got wore out so bad because all the high points they became heavily fondled and so they got wore out real easy. So this is something that I'm considering putting in my collection all right what's next i got a choice between three barber dimes so three i have a choice i can have one of these i can pick one of these so which one would you pick would you pick the 1908 i mean i'm kind of digging the the little bit of toning and stuff in the background let's look at the back yeah, this one is pretty eye appealing to me. And it's a D. It's a D to D. There's the mint mark. It's a D. I don't know. I kind of like the character of it. And then that goes to these. There's a 1900 or a 1901. I don't know. I like, I like them when they have a little bit of darkness because it kind of makes all the uh, details pop. I'm trying to look to see. I mean, it might be a little bit lesser of a grade. But you always like kind of look to see if you can see all the letters up there in her headband. And then there's the back side. So, for me, this middle one, this middle one, that one's out of there. That's out of the decision of it. So, which one would you choose out of these two? The 1908... Or the 1901. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below me. But I think I've kept you guys here long enough. So yeah, help me decide. Help me decide. I have to. I have decisions to make. Nope. Which one? I'm keeping that one. So help me decide. Should I keep the 41 or the 39? And should I keep the 1908 or the 1901? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know maybe a little bit of your reasoning. Because your reasoning might change my opinion. I don't know. 
So I appreciate everybody for joining me on this wonderful day. And um, if you liked it, please give me a like it, like it. If you uh, want to let me know your opinions, please comment right down there below me. And until next time, get squirreled. It's fun.